Sorry about the delay with the start, um, but thank you for coming to the 2010 student government debates. Um, just to give you a little outline of what we're going to do, we'll have each of the candidates introduce, introduce themselves and a little bit about their platform. Then we'll have questions moderated by myself um, with two-minute responses. Um, there'll be some directed to the candidates specifically and then general questions for all of them. And then after that, we'll open it up to have questions from the audience. Um, so I'd like to start with Jared and Kate, their introductions. Thanks, Kirsten. Um, first, we would like to thank the Tartan and the Elections Board for hosting this debate, CMU TV for televising this debate to the Carnegie Mellon community, and of course, all of the students who came out to see the ideas that every candidate has here to improve your Carnegie Mellon experience. That said, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jared Adams, an information systems junior in the humanities and social sciences. I'm speaking to you today because I want to be the next student body president. Since I arrived at Carnegie Mellon, I have worked as a resident assistant, written for the Tartan, and served on various student advisory councils. But nothing has impacted my Carnegie Mellon experience more than the work that I have done for the undergraduate student senate. I joined senate my sophomore year, and have served as a member at large, a senator, and the chair of the Campus Life Committee. With my background in senate, I have noticed an overwhelming need to focus directly on the issues that affect students and their time at Carnegie Mellon. Carnegie Mellon students are vastly past vastly passionate about the work that they do here, whether it is in classes, student organizations, Greek organizations, or dorm communities. Student government's job is to work for our passionate students to ensure that everyone's Carnegie Mellon experience is positive. Through my work at Carnegie Mellon, my Senate background, as well as my conversation with peers, I believe that I can work to improve student government and the work it does for the student body to enhance students' experiences. With that said, I am very happy to introduce my running mate, Kate Smith, candidate for vice, student body vice president. Kate's involvement on campus is quite notable. She was involved in varsity athletics for her first two years and served on the Student Athletic Advisory Council. She is also an active member of her sorority, a Greek intern, a mentor for Strong Women, Strong Girls, a member of the Thousand Plus Executive Board, and she works as a tour guide for undergraduate admissions. Kate has many new ideas to change student government and the Carnegie Mellon experience. And I could not ask for a better partner to assist me in changing the way student government works for the student body. With my background and passion for campus life and student government, and Kate's innovative ideas and fresh perspective, I believe that we can change the way students feel not only about student government, but also the way that they feel about Carnegie Mellon and their time here. Our focus is solely on the student. We want to improve their experience. We want to emphasize interaction and collaboration. And we want students to feel as though student government is working for them. Our goal is for you to think of student government, for you to think of Carnegie Mellon as your university and your home, a place where your needs are just as important as the guy down the hall and where your great ideas can be acted on right away. If given the chance to be your student body president and vice president, we want to make Carnegie Mellon not only a college you can believe in, but a college that you will believe in. We thank you for your time, and we hope that you enjoy the debate. <laughs> Next, we have Mike and Micah. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, before we get started, I would also like to take the time to thank everyone here for making this possible. Um, AB Tech, CMU TV, Elections Board, and of course, um, Tartan for actually hosting it with uh, EB. And of course, the students here. Um, you guys make this also worthwhile because you want to learn more about us, so that's what we're here to do. So moving right along to business. My name is Michael Sir, and uh, this is my good friend and running mate, Micah Rosa. And in the interest of time, we want to make sure that we talk to you today about our platform and familiarize you with all our initiatives that we try to put on the board. Um, so first, I'm gonna break it up by heading off to Micah Rosa, who will be talking about <laughs> ACP, our active communications program. Then following that, he'll be talking about CMU Central. Then I'll come back to me and I'm gonna wrap that up with uh, talking a little bit about STEM, our student trade employment movement program, as well as talking to you a little bit about campus unity and what we will do to encourage that. So without further ado, here's Michael Rosa. All right, thank you very much. Now, active communications is a, a problem that we've seen on campus and we wanna address it. So during the past administrations, uh, there have been great strides for encouraging government transparency. And now we have open meetings, we have most of our information posted uh, on cmu.edu. Budgets are also public information. So transparency, we believe, has been addressed. Uh, it will be continued to address, but for right now, we believe that 
uh, student population has access to what the student government is doing. What they do not have easy access to is to find out where that information is or how to get it. Uh, we can all sit in on a student senate meeting if we have two hours of our time, but most of us don't. So we propose an active communications program. That is where we'll be utilizing uh, such rev uh, avenues as the tartan um, to bring to light what the student government is doing and articles uh, written there. Also, a weekly update from student government telling you what the Senate's been voting on, what the executive branch has been doing, doing and this is an opt-in, opt-out, depending on the style we want, uh, to go to everyone's inboxes and they can choose to read it and be involved or choose not to at their own pleasure. Uh, this is a way we can tell people what the student government is doing, make it very visible without them breaking their actual daily routines. Moving on, there is CMU Central, and with CMU Central, the goal is to make organizations, clubs, and Greek life more centralized uh, so we can attract more traffic and more people into those clubs. Uh, it'll be a website designed so that if you, have a, if you have a site already built and you're happy with it, you can link it. It'll be on a list broken down into categories, and we'll link you to an outside source. If you do not have a website, you can host a professional one with us. You'll get a nice subdomain plus professional tools to make your site worthwhile. Uh, and what this will do, it'll funnel all traffic of clubs and organizations into one place. Uh, everyone has a chance to view what other alternatives there are. That way, if you want to get involved, you can do it more easily. This will encourage larger events, larger groups, and more interaction between students uh, from different majors and all across campus. So I'm going to hand it back to Mike to wrap up our platform and get this debate uh, going. Right, thank you, Micah. So now that he's talked about how we're going to be actively positioning our information, trying to make it more visible, encourage student activity and actual interaction, I want to talk to you a little bit about STEM and how it's going to enrich uh, student life here at Carnegie Mellon. So first off, what is it? Um, on a large scale of things, so I don't bore you all to death with the intricacies of STEM, we are basically trying to make a, uh, a resource available to CMU students so you can actually pursue short-term, often commission-based work, which is available to any and all students across CMU, and that this means that you can actually pocket some money, um, also have the opportunity to really get involved in Pittsburgh businesses, give back to the community, and really get involved that way, as well as actually practicing the skills you've learned inside and outside of the classroom. Now, we also hope to pilot this STEM program within the first academic year early on so we can make sure that students can take full advantage of it as soon as possible. And beyond the actual offering of short-term commission-based work, we also intend to make other resources available. Now, this includes things like, as an example, helping students navigate through taxes because sometimes some students feel like they don't have the appropriate resources to accurately navigate everything. Next, I'd like to talk about STEM. Uh, not STEM, sorry, I already talked about STEM. Um, we're going to talk about school unity and the real uh, basic strategy. All right, cool. Um, for school unity, we're going to continue the Tartan Rewards program and make sure that we pursue it from what the previous administration has done and build off of it. Um, they put a lot of good hard work into it, so we're going to make sure that we continue along those lines, and hopefully our other initiatives can help feed into it and build it off. Um, now, what that actually means is that we actually hope to not only reward the students participating in activities, but actually also reward the organizations who are hosting them um, so we, that we can, make, or we can make sure that everyone knows that we appreciate everything that the organizations are doing across campus because without them, we wouldn't have the rich CMU experience that we currently enjoy. Now beyond this, we'll also make sure that we work to make sure um, we can make, sorry, saying make sure. Um, beyond this, we want to make sure that we promote interaction as well as other activities depending upon what students want. We're always here to listen to you. We're here to promote that interaction and that engagement. So after everything's said and done, what is the actual message here? I would say that we're about creating a diverse array of opportunity for you. We believe that through what we are doing in our work, we're going to make sure that you have every possible chance to take the CMU experience, make it your own, and truly make it memorable and remarkable. Thank you. Thank you. And last, we'll have Casey introduce herself. Um, no, I'll see some yeah, I also want to thank everyone for this debate. Uh, they offered to reschedule it because Matt can't make it because it's Passover and he has to do like Passover stuff right now. Um, and they offered to reschedule it, but well, we said no because uh, we've already made a Facebook event and <laughs> so we don't want to change it. But um, and we don't want to use something else. But um, first of all, I just want to say that I don't believe in representation. I think that. You can represent yourself. That's a little something called agency. No homo, look it up. Um, it's a real thing. But, because um, I don't represent you, I rule you. 
hands, I fool you, I shoot at you, and I eat for you. And if you understood that reference, then you're a communist. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, on that, 